Um, in case you've been living under a rock, Dubai is packed with visitors at the moment. And we had a record breaking 2 million passengers using pa- public transport in one single day. His Highness Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, uh, Crown Prince of Dubai, took to Twitter to celebrate this incredible milestone. And he also thanked the RTA for their world class services. and share the next step in Dubai's public transportation success story. So he tweeted, two million passengers use Dubai's public transport in a single day, marking a new record. And thank you, RTA, for delivering the world's best mass transit service. Um, the aerial taxi service set to be launched by 2026 will be a new chapter in this remarkable success story. Now, the Roads and Transport Authority just announced that a whopping 2,000, uh, uh, sorry, 2 million almost, Uh, 2 million plus people hopped on public and shared transportation, which is a new record for a regular weekday, excluding New Year's Eve. Yeah, forget about New Year's Eve. That's a whole other ball game. Um, and the Dubai Metro's red and green lines were the most popular, carrying 821,000 riders, uh, 570,000 on the red line, 200 and almost 50,000 on the green line, while the Dubai tram served 26,000 riders. in one day this week. So that's two million passengers on public transport alone. I think that's a large part to Gulf Food, which is the biggest uh, B2B food event which is happening down in DIFC. It ends today or yesterday, I believe. Um, and thankfully, we saw the videos of the, uh, we were getting a lot of videos of the Metro of the day. Like, thankfully, that was an incredible service there for people because traffic was chocker block. Um, so it was amazing that uh, people were able to get home uh, safe and sound via the incredible Dubai Metro. And now we know it was a record breaking day. Two million people. Phenomenal. And I am not even shocked hearing this because every hour is peak peak time uh, when you're using the metro now. Like as a public transport commuter, I will guarantee that it's peak hour every hour. Even, but as a public transport commuter, but what about non-commuting hours? So when I used to live near metro, I didn't take it for work, but I would use it to get to the mall and stuff. Yeah. And it was never that because I would always go like weekend mornings. It's been one year since you've used the metro. Weekend mornings, is it busy? Is it packed? Oh, weekend mor- Okay, fine. Weekend morning, mornings, mornings. Yeah. Like mornings when I think half of the world is asleep. No, but like That's during the day. So it. peak hours is like from five to seven. Yeah, it's, it's busy usually. then. Yeah, yeah, but it's But non peak hours, it's. Still. Yeah, that's what like non-peak hours nowadays, it's just as busy and it's like difficult to find a space in the cabin to like get into because so many people are using it and it's just the most convenient mode of transportation in Dubai. Like everything is so connected with the metro now and especially since they've opened up the new line. So it's just like... <laughs> If you find space in the cabins, you are blessed. You are the chosen one of the day. If you find a seat. Um, if, you find, if you find a seat, that's that's just a whole other blessing. You need to be getting on at the beginning. Yeah. At the very top. At the very beginning. Rashidia or at the very end, Jabal Ali. Like one of the two. <laughs> Travel all the way to the end to grab a seat to go back to exactly where you want it. Um, anyway, we're going to be... We have a lot of visa updates at the moment.